Sony's ridiculously woke Concord took years and 150 million. Now it's dead on arrival and the left is screaming. Yep, this is absolutely a conservative news outlet. This is hilarious. This is I want to see how this person spins this uh this thing right recall gavin newsom that didn't work all right we tried it it didn't work all right um this might be one of the wildest entries in get woke go broke chronicles and naturally it came from the realm of video games the most contentious battlefield in the culture war that is true let me set the stage for you because uh the background only makes it funnier sony spent 68 years according to what i heard it's eight uh, developing a game called Concord, spending a whopping $150 million to make the game. The game was a first person shooter designed to be played with live um, and so yeah, played live with other players. It was released on PC and PlayStation 5, and it was marketed as the latest and greatest game of its kind in the market. No. I just like I said, it looks like a uh, it is basically a Overwatch copy that came out four years too late another thing it's it sort of felt like uh wish.com guardians of the galaxy it just looks it just doesn't look good now graphically the cinematic trailer it looks really expensive now that's the reason why we're out it's, it's so bad man uh it was also overbearingly and unapologetically woke which means that more focus went into messaging than actual gameplay as much as the game didn't even reach a middling amount of fun here where it gets good the game was released on july 23rd uh only a week after sony announced it will be a, uh july 23rd i think this is uh i think it's uh august 23rd yeah i think it was was it july 23rd i don't what I don't even remember. Okay, if it is July 23rd, it is what it is. Uh, only a week later, Sony announced it will cancel the live uh, service for the game and will be shutting down its servers. Much, I'm sorry, such was the lackluster response of fan and fan backlash against the game. While Sony did attempt to at least uh, some damage control, the game's mediocrity and messaging was too much. Yeah, the physical, it doesn't know no, that's wrong. Yeah, exactly. I thought it, was, it came out like last month. Yeah, the physical games are rare now. Yeah, man. Like I, I saw a game that was twenty four or twenty five thousand dollars on eBay. That's crazy, man. Wow. So let's go ahead and go. And, and th this is the article. I'm not going to continue. It's basically uh, it's going to be redundant now right over here. Firewalk Studios. A couple of days ago, I had eight job openings. Currently, it has zero job openings man now here's the next one right over here i'm gonna read this thing down here uh it says racist bigotry one again are you happy are you satisfied yes i am i am very happy i am very satisfied i probably need a, need a fucking cigarette does your day feel that little bit better knowing a great develop Man, great developer comp um, comprised of hardworking folks is going to likely be shut down over this? All because you can't whack off to ugly character designs and cry about woke games all the time. Yes, that is true. Okay, like I said, if you go to Rule 34, there are like 14 to 16 posts at most. Not even the R34 artists who want to draw or animate your ugly ass fucking characters, man. Get the memo. This game wasn't for you in the first place. Good, and that's why this game failed. If Concord was not for us, we then who fucking showed up to buy the game? Nobody. Nobody bought the game. Your side, if this game was not made for us, then, then obviously you guys didn't give a fuck about this game. Now a decent shooter not even good decent uh decent shooter with fresh ideas and a boring free to play market is going to die does that make you happy absolutely man oh man i'm, I'm giddy i'm fucking giddy i'm getting i'm getting a boner right now uh you are what's wrong with this industry and because of you sony might see this and think pc isn't worth investing their money in the future games hope you are satisfied edit well, congratulations. The game is shutting down completely. Hope you miserable gamers are happy. I'm happy.
I just climaxed right now. I have to change myself after this. But yeah, I'm just gonna let it harden and crust up. It's fine, chat, because I, I, I am super happy. Now, let's go up here. Here's another one. This guy, this person said, I'll predict how this game will go. A week after the terrible launch, we're sorry that the Concord has failed to live up to the expectations. We are working hard to make it right and make Concord into the game we know it can be. Nine months later, dear Concord community, this is to let you know that we've reached a disappointing decision. Man. Missed the step where they blamed the male gamers for sexist. Yep, that is true. That is so true. Here's another one right over here. One thing the Concord situation highlights is that public understanding of games industry is at an all-time low. You mourn studios closing one week, then rejoice and dance on the grave of the game getting shut down next. Yes. Now here's the thing. The reason why we mourn studios that are closing is because the studios, like the ones who did Hi-Fi Rush, that's a good studio. The games they come out with are really good, really entertaining. They did, um, I believe, um, The Evil Within also right so they did they, they, they did really really good so we are sad to see them go now for this one the game fucking sucks you spent eight years on this game and it looks mid as fuck this looks like something that i could shit out in a day two days man you see ghosts of political boogeymen in one game and rally troops for game of the years in the other yeah because the other ones are actually really good right black myth wukong is actually really really freaking good stellar blade is actually pretty awesome as well so uh yeah can you can your games compare to any of those i don't think so there is so much hate bile and vitriol floating around our hobby and it genuinely breaks my, my heart to see it uh everyone is so consumed with being a contrarian because it's the meta right now that you don't even realize or care how harmful it is to the gaming landscape. A new generation of gamers conditioned to go on the offense when disgruntled or launch a full-blown assault if they don't like the game. Now, I work in the gaming industry. When, when Whenever the players are happy, our game does well and we make money. Whenever the players are upset, we lose money. It seems like a, an action has an equal and opposite reaction, maybe. May, whether or not if it's good or bad, right? It's If you make good games, people will come. It doesn't matter, right? The, let's say if this game eventually becomes some kind of like cult classic, which it won't is because now it, because it's a live service game. No one will ever know. The fact that this game hasn't even been out in a month. No one will ever know how good this game could have been down the road, right? But uh, we'll see, we'll see, because uh, even developers are like, yeah, this shit sucks dick. The sheer amount of work that goes into making a game is Herculean. And it's devastating when it, does, uh, when it doesn't land. Years of time, effort, and money lost in what feels like an instant. Yeah, don't make shitty games. Get woke, go broke. You know the saying. Um, we've, all, no, we've all lost today? No, 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 no. We all won today. We've all won. Nobody cares about the shitty ass game. No one's even gonna talk about it next week. It's that simple. Uh, don't delude yourself into thinking this is a win in any way, shape, or form. Whether you liked, hated, played, or never even heard of Conquer before, it only gets harder for all of us from here. No, it gets harder for you, right? Because if you think back in the day, maybe like 10 years ago, there wasn't a lot of woke games back then, right? Let's say Overwatch. Right, Overwatch ex is, is extremely woke, extremely diverse. But you know what's also cool about that game? The girls are hot. The guys are hot. They made a lot of porn on it. There's a lot of R34 on it. Like I said, I will pull it up right now. Rule 34. Concord. 20! 20 results for Concord! Overwatch has 111,000 results, all right? If you're gonna make shitty games, at least make the characters hot. It's that simple. Holy crap, man. Now, here's another one. 
Black Myth Food Kong got an 8 out of 10, sold over 10 million copies, making over $700 million. Concord got a 7 out of 10. Doesn't the, doesn't the game mean that, doesn't that mean that the game is going to do really, really good? No, it doesn't matter. If your game sucks dick and it does not resonate with your fans, no one's going to play it, right? Oh, man, here's another one right here. I ordered a Han Solo bookmark on eBay. It arrived today. This is how it was packaged. <laughs> oh, imagine if your shipping package is just a garbage game. Yo, 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 here's the thing though. Here's the thing. People are reselling it on eBay for $20,000, okay? This guy could have got a 20. I just emailed the seller to ask why this shitty game was included. Here's a response. It's just the packing material. Wow, dude. No way, man. <laughs> oh, man. I, it, where, there's more. There's more. Here is another one. This is from Endymion. GameStop is wild for this, man. This guy said, was nice to get out of the house and leave the internet behind for a bit. Did a bit of shopping, finally bought Concord. Can't wait until Saturday, but looking forward to trying it out. GameStop re re retweeted and says, I have some bad news for you. And it says, you were the one who sold it to me. And this was GameStop's response, dude. <laughs> Man, that is a based response, man. That is so funny, dude. That is actually so funny. Now, it, now, if the game, if the game looked like this, if the game actually looked like this, this game would have sold so much money. This game would have sold so much money uh, so so much money this game would have made so much money sorry this game would have sold so much and made so much money imagine chat imagine if you're playing concord when you launch the game you see a big titty black chick that's extremely hot and those those are like fucking probably like e cups man those are like e cup titties man you had but you had to put this one in there. You had to have this giant tub of lard in there. This waste of space. You could have had this. But instead, you had this. It is what it is, man. This is hilarious. I thought it was... I, I, this is so damn funny, man. It is what it is. That's a dude? Exactly. This Now, here's the thing. Chat. This is the only... Uh, this is the only gender bend, uh, bending that I will consider okay. If you take an ugly, fat, disgusting looking character and make them hot. And a female. make Turn them into a hot female with big ass titties. I'll be okay with it. Right? If you, if you make a character that's fat and ugly and is a man and you gender bend it to a hot big titty woman i'm okay with gender bending i'm okay if you if you if you gender swap it with a big titty woman i i'm absolutely okay with it 